Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done to create this composite. It's a fun little composite that I had to do for a Photoshop class. And I want to show you some of the tricks that I've done. And let's go ahead and get to that. First off, you want to film your props that your actors will hold. You want to make sure they're high resolution so that you can do what you need to with them and make sure that they're good. Also, you want to film your actors. You want to take pictures of them in the poses that they are going to be in. You want to make sure that they are holding props or holding items in the real world so that their hands look like they're holding something. And you could, excuse me, import the other items, the props that you filmed in those to make it look like they are actually holding those. You want to make sure you film those in the day, the same day that you film the background. Here's the background that I took one picture of to make and create. And you want to make sure that everything is, the actors are filmed in the same, facing the same way that they are going to be facing in the project. Now onto Photoshop to show you some of the tricks. Okay, we're here in Photoshop, all ready to go. I want to show you some tricks that I use to create some of these illusions showing uh, for example this first one I'm going to unselect or deselect some of these to show you there's that original picture he's holding that uh, ball looks great looks natural I want to make sure him holding that kernel of corn is going to look natural as well okay and let's ins insert the kernel of corn right here there it is. Look, I should take off the hand. What we're doing is we're taking the kernel and putting inserting it in. Well, it's going to go over the hand so that doesn't look natural. I want the hand to show that it's wrapped around that kernel. Select around the hand, make a selection. I create a new layer, and that layer, I'll throw this kernel in so you can see it when I change that. That new layer is going to show right up when I print that boy's hand over that. So now, remember working in layers, the top layer is going to show up over the bottom layer. This doesn't look quite as natural as I want it to look. So I highlight again the hand, I create a new layer, I paint the hand black, I blur it out, or not blur it out completely, but blur it so that uh, it's not crisp lines like the hand is. Then I create the shadow, I offset it, I bring it over here and create that. So showing a little bit of what I do to create the kernel of corn there. Now, okay, onto the girl, I have, let me bring this over, I have this girl here with the prize. Now look, the prize is in the bag. Well, it didn't always used to be that way, and I want to show you a little bit about that. It's kind of the same concept as the hand with the boy. Now here's the bag right here, right? Just as usual. Here's the girl holding the prize. I took out the cardboard when I brought her in. I want to get that prize in there, but because the prize is over her, which is over this layer, it's this layer, this layer, then this layer, it's going to be over her hands. It's going to be over the bag. We want to change that. So I'm going to cut out a, a portion here of the bag, create a new layer, throw that in front of that, there it is. It's seamless with the layer behind because I did not move it, and it looks as though it's the same. There's no seams. It's great. I created a shadow and put, uh, that's not the shadow I wanted to show you, the prize shadow to make it look like, well, there's a shadow. It's, it's in the bag. Again, we have her hands are now behind the prize. We want to bring those out. So hands in front of the prize. Boom, there they are. Highlighted them, made a new layer and threw them over that. Now, it doesn't look like she's holding them, so I need to throw the shadow in. Did that same concept, did the blur, threw that over there. And that kind of shows a little bit of what I did to create this composite. 